Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to select the correct driver for your external device. Let's say that we're going to begin a new project in which our HMI will communicate with an IDEC FC6A. The FC6A supports Modbus RTU communication and our software has a Modbus RTU driver, meaning that we could communicate with the FC6A by referencing the Modbus mapping table within the user manual. However, this would be tedious work that could increase development time and frustration. How can we avoid this? When beginning a new project, our support team would recommend that you search for a device-specific protocol prior to using a generic protocol like Modbus RTU. The IDEC FC6A, for example, has its own unique device-specific driver. When adding a driver, Wintech Support also recommends that you check the corresponding device connection guide. Each connection guide contains both software and network requirements that must be fulfilled in order to ensure stable communication. To access the connection guide for your device, simply select the Open Device Connection Guide hyperlink and in the following PDF, follow the instructions to add the device connection guide to your installation directory or select the additional hyperlink at the bottom to access a web-based version. During this demonstration, I'm going to open the web version, where at the top, we can search for the manufacturer of our device. In the center, we can look for the model of our device, and near the bottom is where we can find the corresponding drivers. What about a device that communicates using only Modbus RTU? Although Wintech has four generic Modbus drivers, it's important to reference both the user manual of your device and the connection guide associated with each driver to ensure device-specific requirements are met. As an example, if your device does not use zero-based addressing and the Modbus addresses start at one, then we narrow our search to the three remaining drivers. Now we consider if our device uses hex addressing, if it does not, we've eliminated a second driver. Now, you might be left wondering if the Modbus RTU adjustable driver is correct for your application. Let's check our PLC connection guide and find out. To find my PLC connection guide, I'm going to select Modbus IDA as the manufacturer. In the model section, I'll select Modbus RTU controller and within the list of drivers, we'll select Modbus RTU Adjustable. And just below, we'll find the device connection guide for our selected driver. Within our connection guide, we'll find our addressing schema, special notes related to this driver, and down below, information on this driver's usage. If your application does not require a user-defined address range as shown, then you can make use of our Modbus RTU, RTU over TCP driver, which for most basic RTU devices is the driver that our support team recommends. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.